Hi writers and welcome in the last video of 2021. One, two, three, four. Yes, I still have a lot of buckets, so what is the best way to end the year if not with an episode of Go Cheap or Go Home? With two buckets! Wow. Okay, but now I'm in a hurry. I have to go out, take the gloves and the glasses from the car, go up again and make the thumbnail for the video with my girlfriend. You will find it in the end screen of this video. Anyway, let's take the sketch and go out again with not heavy at all stuff to transport, right? Piano zero. Floor zero. God bless the elevators. Today I'm not going around with my beloved car. I caught the train with my fake Montana Cans bucket on time. I don't really know how I did it. But anyway, my morning urban Odyssey is not finished at all, my friends. Me and my fantastic buckets are waiting for the bus. Today I'm a commuter and Naples doesn't have the quietest buses in the world. But fortunately for you it's gonna be short. Hey hey, guess who's back again on this channel? <laughs> Yes, it's my homie Chirokira that was talking about some vandalism. That's the completely normal routine, guys. So after a train, a bus and a car, we finally arrived at the spot. Do you remember the first episode of Go Cheap or Go Home? This is the world we are gonna paint, me and Kira. And next to us we will have smoke. <laughs> That, by the way, is the driver of the car. Thank you, my friend. But now it's time for the first lines. As you can see today, I've done the first first lines before doing the letter structure. It's like making a big tag and then build the letters. Someone could consider this a toy way to approach the first lines, but I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I was that concerned about Kira's doodle because in that spot won't be any background, so the doodle would have been visible at the end. <laughs> the war has begun. <laughs> Mi raccomando, alle 8 stasera, quando torni a casa, prima di lavarti e di fare qualsiasi altra cosa, guarda il mio video su YouTube. Sì, è bellissimo tra l'altro, ti stanno tutti i commenti in inglese, oh yeah man, come on, keep it up. Posta Ciro Kira che fa, oh amo su forte, oh, è bellissimo. Poesia. You thought the war was over? Secondo me io ti posso dare una mano comunque a fare la traccia, vedi? Cioè comunque, vedi, cioè... Perché sta cosa Perché tu sei bravo, quindi ti puoi redimere, diciamo. Obviously his revenge was immediate. Però fai il linee bello, io l'ho fatto bello. Creghi lo spigolo, è straffilato andare lì. <laughs> Yo, I'm finally done with sketch. I'm really satisfied with it. It's the same on paper, and that was the purpose. By the way, I want to show you something. This video is from two minutes before I finished my sketch, when me and Kira were nearly done. And look at this! Smoke was already making his outline. Of course he painted only with cans, but he was so fast. Anyway, for us it's time to mix the paint. We have this wonderful red, but we want to make our pieces in pink. So we're gonna put a bit of red in the white bucket. It's incredibly still perfectly white. 
We need the more red. So perceptive, my dear Ben, from the past. <laughs> what you're gonna see is not the best tool in the world. It's actually trash, but we are poor. <laughs> Probably. Yo. Arte contemporanea. No, questo al MoMA lo vendi a 10 milioni di euro. After three attempts, we finally got the color we wanted. We just need to mix it well, add some water, and we are ready to fill the piece. And if Kira stops speaking on WhatsApp, we can go on with painting. like this pink color. It would have been even better if it had been a bit shiner, but it's okay. The paint is so good that the filling needs just one coat of paint. I'm really happy considering that's completely for free. By the way, Kira is making the background for both pieces, using three cans. One is mine, Cool Cologne. About the other colors, I don't really know which colors they are. I only know that they are from Montana cans. <laughs> time for me using a brush small like this one, just for tiny spots, obviously. It's like using a skinny cap for the first time. It's a game changer, I have to say. I definitely have to buy one, because this is from Kira. Or at least I could steal it from him. Hmm, I'll see. Anyway, now is the scariest part of the day. It's time for the outline. And it's dripping as hell. It's because of many reasons. The wall is made in marble, so it doesn't absorb the paint. That drips. Going on, this can has a lot of pressure inside, more than usual. It can happen, but it's fixable. You just need to turn the can upside down and spray. After a few seconds, only the pressure will come out from the can. Keep it till it's necessary. And if it's needed, you can also repeat this process. <laughs> And this is because of the wall, and because I'm not can too, but I just have to be careful and it's gonna be okay. Please fix that line now! Okay, okay, better. I used Kira's tiny brush also for the small cuts, and I noticed that it's more versatile than a roller, but it's not that clean. So I think that in an ideal painting, I would have both tools with me at the wall. I fucking love when lines come out so straight. Sadly, I have to do it fatter and less clean to go over that green glare. That's the sketch. Fuck my life. There is a little bit of rage in here, just a bit. Yes, I've done a lot of adjustments to my outline. It isn't a proper good outline day for me. Maybe it could be better with the overline? And no, unprecise day for the overline too. It happens. Nail. This is the same problem of the outline, but with less blasphemy. I have to work on it. I need just some corrections to the overline and then the highlights.
So after this long, blasphemous and funny process, I'm freaking fucking done. This is the final result. But as always, let's analyze it. First of all, the balancing. The T and the V are as always slanted to the upper angles of the photo. The E and the N are a little bit less slanted. In the bottom part of the piece there are these two, let's say, fins pointing to the lower angles of the photo. The left one is better because its shape is stronger than the other one. You can notice it from the bottom lines. The heart is not in the middle, but it is not a problem. The real problem is that the right part of it is too much compressed in the right fin. Anyway, let's skip to the letters. I really like the lettering, the V in particular is so sharp and strong. Its shape is perfect in my opinion. The E is so cool, just this stick is a bit too wide. And by the way, this loop is the best part of the lettering. One of the best loops I've ever done. The N is strong, I like how it's set with the heart, and I like its shape in general. The only problem of this letter, that by the way is the only big problem of this piece, is how the N and the T are looped. The right fin should be symmetrical with the left one, but it isn't. The right one is completely crooked. And I'm so sad about this, I have to say, because it's the only part that ruins a bit this really cool piece. Anyway, I'm in love with the colors of this piece. The pink paint is so... yogurt. No, okay, seriously. It matches perfectly with the blue electric background, thanks to Kira, and with the yellow overline. The final touch are the tone-on-tone -tone highlights made with lollipop. They are perfect. And the fact that makes me happier is that it was so cheap. I used leftovers to sketch, then stole a borrowed bucket paint for the filling. For the outline I used a full black montan cans that costs 370 euros. I gave one full can to Kira for our common background and the other cans for the background were from Kira. The lollipop for the lights was a leftover and about the yellow I borrowed it from Kira. So I spent 7 40 euros for this full color piece. Not that bad. So guys, this is it for this video and this is it for this year. I'm really happy about what we are making all together on YouTube. I mean, all together because you are part of it. So I have to say thanks a lot to you writers out there that support me with a subscription, a like or a comment. Thank you guys, it's so important for me. By the way, stay tuned because in 2022 will arrive brand new videos and series on this channel. So guys, if you like this last video of 2021 leave a like and a comment subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram if you want link in the description and see you next time